What is happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you the best weekend I've had in a long time. Bank holiday weekend, £1,000 worth of sales. Absolutely astonishing weekend. That takes up Friday from 12pm uh, through to Saturday, Sunday and then Monday. Obviously it's Tuesday today. I'm recording it as of this morning. Um, yeah, so let's go through everything that's sold. So first up, picked up a uh, pair of Ferrari sunglasses in this little case. I nonchalantly picked these up for a pound. Um, there we oh, there we go. Just some nice little shades. I didn't think they were going to be anything special. Wah wah. You know what I'm saying? Didn't think they were going to be any special. But turns out these are half decent. So look at that. So these sold for £42 with £2.99 postage from a pound. That's an absolute bargain. Next up, we have a pair of Echo sandals. These have sold once for £21. Uh, the lady that purchased them for her mum said that they were a bit too hard on the soles for her. They came back, um, I relisted them, they sold the same day again for £22 plus £2.99 postage. I picked these up from a charity shop, uh, sorry, from a car boot for around £3 or £4. So £3 into £22, not too bad. In my recent car boot video, you would have seen me pick these up for £2. Uh, I didn't think much of them. There is a bit of black marking on the front here as you can see some there as well I think the other one is actually a little bit worse just on the insides where you're kicking the footy about um, these were a UK 10 I believe and these went on vinted and sold within 45 minutes for £10 so £8 profit in an hour one of the smaller sales but for vinted not too bad at all I've had these for a long time now uh, ever since Kareem uh, Fuzzy Footwear uh, got involved on Instagram. I picked up some of these uh, Nike free knit These are free RN knit fly knits. Um, I think I picked them up on uh, Vinted for around I want to say about seven pound plus postage um, So but these have hang, hung around now for about two months, uh, but they finally sold for 29.99 plus 2.99 postage So not too bad considering they are a 5.5 as well. So a relatively small size, but yeah Look out for your fly net. I was recently watching a Ricky uh, Lee, Ricky Resales video, and he purchased a in-car DVD player. I went to a jumble trail in one of my local little villages, and this is what I found. I found a double screen. So there's a main unit, which is this one, I believe. So this main unit here, you... Oh, there you go. You pop that open like that. Oh, ah, nearly slammed on my fingers. Yep, you put, pop the DVD in there close that down comes up on this screen there's loads of wires and it links to the second screen as well you put them on the headrests of cars um, he said pick them up for anything around the five pound mark these were five pounds and they have sold for 34.99 plus 2.99 postage and they actually sold within a week so that's a really quick turnover you may or may not have been able to see behind me this big thing look at this this is a beauty this is a 2000, I think it was 2004 or 5, and this is a Sony sort of ghetto blaster bass boost bomb boom box. It's got a tape player there, it's got a CD player here. Oh, it's a big boy, and it sounds amazing. I put it on my Instagram, a little story, and me playing some, um, some music on it. Um, it's a really nice unit, that one. It sold for £100. I purchased it for £25 from my uh, little village up the road from me. Um, they've got like a vintage sort of, I don't really know, it's like a pawn shoppy type thing. I paid £25 for it. They actually got, had to go to the shop uh, because they didn't have a power cable. So there's a Sky power cable. It's just normal, like just a normal uh, power cable, one of those ones. Uh, but they purchased one of those for like three quid. I picked it off for 25 Took around a month to sell and this sold for £100. So a big chunk of today's final total. Again. In my recent car boot video, I picked up this, an Xbox 360. Uh, I later took it home to find out that there was no hard drive in it. So one of these things that you do, if you, some of these, there you go. You pop it open and there's normally a little hard drive in there. There wasn't one, so I was hoping any value it did have would have been in there. Unfortunately, there wasn't one. Uh, this sold for $9.99 with $2.99 postage. So a pound into probably like seven, not the end of the world, but considering there was no hard drive, which is what I was hoping for, not too bad. So I went to Telford, just up the road from me. Um, I picked up a bundle of cameras. These are just like the little 
point and click pretty cheap ones uh wanted 20 pound for all four they were um no chargers or anything like that no memory cards they do have the batteries they're all tested and working so the first up we have a sony cyber shot this is the dsc uh, w70 and like i said i paid 20 pound for all four so that's five pound a camera this one sold for 24.99 plus 2.99 postage so the next sony we have a sony cyber shot this one is a 10.2 megapixel dsc hx5 again would have cost me five pound out of that bundle and this one sold for 34.99 so next up we have a cyber shot sony another one uh, this one is a DSC W810, and this one sold for $44.99 uh, with the $2.99 postage. Uh, I do have one more listed, which is a Panasonic Lumix L1, F1, maybe something like that. That is currently listed at $119.99, so that £20 investment, well safe. When I was at a jumble trail, I picked up this backgammon, it's an M&S backgammon board. This cost me £7 and it's gone for £20 with £2.99 postage. Next up, I'm sure you've heard that Calf Kitson has gone into administration or there's something going on with the company um, and they're not making stuff anymore. Here are some new balances. They are 415s and they are uh, in collaboration with Calf Kitson. I picked these up on Vinted for around £8 plus the postage. So I probably paid about £11 all in and they've gone for £29.99 with the £2.99 postage. Adidas Ultra Boost 19. Creamy beige kind of colour got the continental soles these i've had for a little while now i think i paid around eight or nine pound on vinted again plus the postage are probably about 11 pound 12 pound all in and these only sold for 25 pound plus the 2.99 postage so not a, an amazing flip on this one but they're out the door i did have them listed at 35 i offered 30 someone offered me 25 get rid um i'll show you quickly now this is what i'm dealing with in terms of trainers so as you can see i've got two racks there and then i've also got a full rack here so as you can see i do have a lot of trainers going at the minute so if i have an opportunity to get rid of a couple even if it's for a little less than i specifically wanted initially i am willing to just take a little bit of a hit on them just to get rid but still make a little bit of money so this is a brand to look out for it's called halgos uh, I think it's a cycling sort of like outdoor wear brand and I paid £8 at a charity shop for this so I paid up a little bit <coughs> and this sold for 27 with the 2.99 postage um, I'm going to say stop saying 2.99 postage because everything I sell now has 2.99 postage but this sold for £27 um, yeah and it sold pretty quickly as well um, some of the Halgos stuff does really really well so be on the lookout now this is one that has hung around for a little while i thought it was cool it had a massive horse on it like that so this is a ralph Lauren polo genuinely thought it would go a little bit quicker it's just it's a really bright color with a bright red uh big horse um it's an extra large um and i thought this would go a little bit quicker than it did it's all for 19 pounds um and i think it cost me a fiver from a charity shop so one of the fails or one of the clear outs is a subaru t-shirt uh, this cost me three pounds at a charity shop and it sold for a whopping three pounds plus a postage so up next we have a pair of nike waffle ones uh, these i picked up from the nike outlet store uh, near stoke these cost me i want to say 18 pounds and they've sold for 39.99 plus the postage these have sat around a little while and i do have two more pairs so if you're interested and you want a pair size eight uh there you go they're a little bit see-through on the sides if you want a pair let me know on instagram we'll do a deal but yeah i paid about 18 pounds 40 pounds back on instagram i did a little haul video when i went to a couple of charity shops not long ago i picked these up for 6.99 they are brooks gts 20s uh they're adrenalines uh these cost me seven pounds 6.99 and they have sold for 32.99 plus the postage brooks fantastic brand adrenaline not too bad look for the higher models like the 20s 22s that sort of thing and they usually do pretty well so the next pair of trainers i have is some new balance and they're called cool, and they're white mountaineering um these don't look fantastic like this but with a shoe tree in they do look good so i'd imagine when you're wearing them they're quite nice ten and a half um these cost me four pound and they were just advertised as oh they're not new balances sorry they're adidas they are adidas 
They're Adidas, my bad. I was reading the wrong thing. But yeah, so these were just advertised as colorful trainers on Vinted. I paid four pounds for these. And these have taken around two, two and a half months, but they have sold for 40 pounds plus the postage. So cannot complain. Had them around a little while, but as you can see, bit of wear there, little bit of wear here. Um, but all in all, a fantastic price. I don't intend to pick up too many Clarks. I know that Roman Duran himself, he picks up some Clarks every now and then. Um, these are women's. Maybe this is why I've not seen him pick anything up like that. But these are like high heeled. They're gold and black. They're very nice looking. And I thought, because of condition, I mean, you can see they've hardly been worn. I thought these may go for 20, 25, but they have sold for 14.99 plus the postage. Probably will stay away from Clark's women's shoes again. I know that when I've watched his videos, he's mentioned that women's clothes, uh, women's trainers and shoes with hotter do really well, men's doesn't. And I only really see him pick up Clark's men's. So maybe I, that's where I went wrong with that one. I did do some comps and I couldn't find the exact one, but there were some high heeled ones that were doing okay. So I thought I'd give it a shot, but these sold for $14.99 plus the postage. And they probably took around two months to sell. So this is one of my favorite pickups from uh, Vinted. These are some really nice, I think they're really nice, a lot of people don't. So these are like multicolored, like waffly type knit. Uh, I paid nine pound plus the postage, so maybe around 12 pounds on these from Vinted. And I have received 30 pounds on offer. I think I had them listed at 34.99 and they sold for 30 on offer. So I'm willing to take that. Again, probably took around a month or so to sell. Um, so took a little while and not for the best money, but with Vinted, what I've tried to do um, is that I don't buy small amounts of trainers for big money. I usually just go on instinct. So what I will do is I'll look, I'll search, I'll buy what I think looks nice and what looks good. The overall aim is to make around 10 to 15 pound per trainer. So I, these each of those racks that you saw before, they hold 40 pairs of trainers. So if I can make 10 pound per trainer, I'm onto a winner. There are some that I've made a lot more than that on. So that's where, you know, swings and roundabouts. Sometimes I'll make 10 pound on a pair of trainers, but uh, I've sold uh, a couple of pairs now for around 60 or 70 that I paid less than 10 pound for. So swings and roundabouts with it, but minimum I'd like to be making 10 pound per trainer. Next up, we have some Jordan 8 retro and they're the so take flight versions these are a kids size five they are very small uh, i purchased these from a charity shop for around eight pounds oh no it definitely was actually eight pounds and these sold for 25 pounds plus the postage i had them originally up at about 40 nobody was biting um, I took them down to 35, I believe. Somebody offered me 25, and I was like, you know what? Cut me losses, get rid, um, and uh, yeah, invest the money in something better. Next up, I have a great sell. And not because it's worth a lot of money, but because I paid nearly nothing. So as I mentioned in one of the last videos, I picked up a massive clothing bundle, 70 pound, and I had bags and bags and bags and bags, hundreds and hundreds of items, and they probably cost me less than 10p. Well, in that bag was this M and Co dress. I paid probably at this point less than 10p for it, and it sold for 17 pound plus the postage. So the next item that sold is these two bags here. They're big Samsonite bags. They're like luggage bags. I paid 10 pound for both of these at a car boot sale, um, and I had them listed at 149 for a month. No was really interested i've got a couple of views i put them down to 129 so next up i saw these two samsonite bags i picked these up from a car boot sale 10 pounds for both i had originally had them listed for a month at 149 pounds i put them down to 129 pounds i put an offer out because i had two watches at 100 pounds i think somebody counter offered at 75 and seeing as i'd only paid 10 pounds for both and they take up a very large amount of room in the um, attic i thought a clear amount get rid and we'll move on to the next one next up we have this figure i paid 10 pound for a massive bag at a charity shop um, i've already made my money back on those so uh, yeah that was seven pound I, I got for that plus the postage so um yeah that's pretty much that just one of those small easy ones i like to pick up random stuff and i use that opportunity to learn about them so uh, i picked up which you'll see probably in the next car boot video this sunday um i picked up a box of magic gathering uh, magic the gathering cards there's probably about four or five hundred cards in there i know nothing about and paid six pound but the research will then enable me to find better deals and more deals in the future samuel windsor these shoes sell and they sell well these ones have been very very lightly used they're low free type slip-ons uh they are a i believe they're an 11 oh no they're a, yeah they're an 11 they fit me perfect door um so yeah happy days 
Beautiful. Oh, there you go. You can see there. They're in 11. I was trying to search on here and I thought it said 10, but it didn't. Uh, these I paid around £6 for from a charity shop. And these sold for £35 plus the postage. Really nice. Samuel Windsor, if they don't have too much wear, they are definitely, definitely picking up, worth picking up. Um, there's a solid brand. These are very expensive, brand new. In fact, I think you can see just on there. That is 99.95, and these have probably been worn a handful of times and I've managed to get 35 back from that, so cannot complain with that. Here we have another Vinted pickup. These would have cost me around five pounds, plus the postage, I say seven, and these have sold for 23 pounds. Harachas, like I said in one of my recent videos, do always sell relatively well for me. These are a UK seven. I like the madder, weirder colors. The triple blacks obviously do really well. The triple whites can do well, but I like picking up the strange colors like this. These took around a month to sell, and they sold for 23 pounds. So not the greatest flip in the world, but like I previously said 10 pound per trainer on most of them and then every now and then, every now and then you will hit a banger so there we go harachas here we have an orvis shirt this is striped it's a double xl i always pick up shirts if they're double xl or bigger just even if they're you know not great brand just because the sizing always helps these uh the brand obviously being orvis does help with this as well uh this all for I've got a spider on my face. It's the same fire spider that was on my shoulder a minute ago. Um, obviously, all this does help with this brand. Uh, £18.74. Uh, I paid £5. So not the best flip in the world, that one. But again, some of these items I like to just take the first offer, get rid. And if there's profit in it, I'll take it. We'll move on to the next thing. And it's all paying the bills. Watch out! And then next up, we have some Dr. Martins. These are brand new. In fact, give you two seconds. These ones here, I've got the tags on. So these are brand new and they are the Dr. Martins AR606. I think that's the code for them. Yeah, but these are a size UK 12. I picked these up from a charity shop for around, in fact, it was definitely 30 pounds. These are brand spanking new, never been worn. These are the steel toe caps. Not the most desirable Dr. Martens, but I still managed to get a good solid price. These have gone for £70 plus the postage. So 30 into 70 after fees. I should just about double my money, maybe slightly less. And I'm happy with that. They did take two months to sell. Next up is a Don Joy knee brace. A few months back, maybe even six months or so, I watched a Chaddy Pete video and he was talking about knee braces. Now, not these ones specifically, maybe the ones with the actual mechanism around them. I do have a few of those that I haven't listed yet because I'm lazy. Um, but I was on Vinted and I picked this up for five pounds and this is sold for a whopping 30 pound plus postage. And you cannot grumble all that for five pounds. On Vinted, it's not just trainers that you can buy. You can buy a lot of stuff pretty cheap. And as you can see, we've had a brilliant weekend. Obviously, it's been an extra day with the bank holiday, but we have sold £1,016 worth of stock on eBay and £10 worth of stock on Vinted. And I don't know about you, but that is a pretty successful weekend for a part-time reseller. More to come on that in the future. I'm not going to be part-time for long. Be sure to check out my Instagram, link in the description, like where it resells. Thank you very much for everybody who's watched and have a great, great day.